This is sort Y37. It will help you with worksheet page three for this week. We're learning ah, ah, and ah, the different ways you spell the sound ah. All right, before you start writing the words, I want you to write your name, your number, and tomorrow's date when it's due. Do that now. Then, when I am saying the words, I expect you to say them aloud with me. I should hear you if you're in the classroom saying these words. Hall. Hall. So you should have said it with me. At least once, if not twice. Then, after we read the word, I might tell you a little bit about it, and then we're going to read the definition. So when you haul something, you move it with your truck or you carry it to another place. So it means, read it with me, to or carry with effort. Haul means to move or carry with effort. So you should have that written down. Then you're going to listen to me say a sentence and then you're going to write your own. So I'm going to say the sentence with the word haul and it's going to be, when I move to a new house, I have to haul all of my stuff there. Now it's your turn. Think of a sentence, pause the video, write it down. Then you can draw your picture. All right, I'm going to start on the word haunt. If you're not ready, you still need to pause the video. Say it with me. Haunt. Do you hear the ah sound in haunt? Haunt means, read it with me, something that comes to your mind again and again. Now you're going to write, now you're going to write a sentence in the box. An example sentence for haunt would be, the ghost likes to haunt the old abandoned house, period. Write your sentence, draw your picture, hit pause if you need to. Moving on. This word is v alt. A U says a, ah, so it's vault. A vault is a place in a bank or a really nice house or business that keeps money and valuables locked away. All right, here is the picture of a vault. It is, read it with me, a place for keeping valuables. So what is the vault's purpose? It keeps the valuable money and nice things that people have safe. So, a place for keeping valuables safe. And then we can write a sentence. The banker must lock the vault every night. All right. Our next word is cross. A cross is, read it with me, an upright, that means it, this goes up and down, upright, post, which is another word for like a wooden pole. So it's a wooden pole that goes up and down with a horizontal, which horizontal means side to side piece at the so an upright post with a horizontal piece at the top now sometimes a cross is shorter on one side than the other sometimes they're just the same amount so a sentence might be grandma keeps a cross on the wall in her bedroom. Okay. 
It's a lot of people have crosses because it's a symbol of the church. However, you can also use the word cross to describe a maybe a street that crosses or people cross their legs. I'm sure you can think of a few other ways that people use cross. So, go ahead, write a sentence and make sure you have your picture drawn here. All right. Pause the video if you need to. We're going on to the next word, cloth. A cloth is a of material, cotton or wool. So, a cloth is like a piece of fabric or towel or anything like that. So, a cloth is a hmm, of material. It can be cotton or wool or nylon or any other kind of fa fabric. So, it is a piece of material. Usually when we talk about a cloth, it's not super large. Okay, they're usually rectangular or... And sometimes they have little decorations on them, like angels, Christmas trees, anything. So make sure that you draw, write your sentence here. At lunch, I have to clean off the table with a cloth. Good. Alright, pause the video if you need to catch up. This word is frost. The O says the AW ah sound. Alright, I found this picture of frost. You can tell these pumpkins do not have snow on them. What they have on them is frost. It's a little, like, dew the water that shows up at night, but it was so cold at night that they froze and it makes what looks like the tiniest layer of snow. So, frost is small pieces of frozen, what's frozen on here? Water drops. So an example sentence we could have is the flowers can die after the first frost of the year. Or we could say, the big orange pumpkin is covered in frost. Because it is. And draw your picture here. All right. The word song. A song is a short piece of, everybody should know this one, music. Since you are so lucky to have music class, you could write your own sentence about a song. Draw a picture, write the words. The last word is laugh. This is the oddball because it doesn't say ah. It says ah, ah. And the U is silent. So a laugh is a funny something you make to express that you are or amused. So a laugh is a funny sound. And a laugh can tell us, so it's used to express, that you are, if you're laughing, you feel happy. All right. Right here, we are going to write a sentence about the word laugh and draw our picture. Make sure that you write all the words three times and that you have capitals and punctuation on your sentences. That's all for page three.